This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 2.2. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 2 Supplemental Problem starting on page 2. Given a plot of current flowing past a reference point versus time, can you plot the charge transferred past the same reference point if the initial condition is zero? Here's a plot of current versus time going from minus 10 milliamps to plus 20 milliamps back to minus 10, up to plus 10 milliamps, and then back to zero. Now from supplemental problem 2.1, we had that Q of t is the integral of i of x dx from t0 to t plus the initial condition. So in the interval from 0 to 1 microsecond, the value of i of x is just minus 10 milliamps. Integrating that, dx, pull out the minus 10. The integral of 1 dx is just x, and then evaluate at the upper limit minus the lower limit. That's going to give us then minus 10 milli times t. So this is a ramp with a negative slope. Now we're plotting charge versus time. We'll take a look at the plot on the next page. But this is continuous because if we had a change in charge for change in time that was abrupt, for that to happen, we'd have to have infinite current. So the plot will be continuous. Now let's find the value of Q of t when we get to one microsecond, and then our curve will just simply pick up where the last one left off. So evaluating this at one microsecond, we wind up getting 10 milli times one micro, and again, milli times micro would be 10 to the minus three times 10 to the minus six, so 10 to the minus ninth. So minus 10 nanocoulombs will be our initial condition for the next interval. Now the value of i of t is an abrupt change. The charge will be continuous. We're going to do the integral again, but now with 20 milliamps. Integral now from 1 microsecond to t, plus our initial condition of minus 10 nanocoulombs. Bring out the 20. The integral of 1 dx is just x. Evaluate the upper limit minus the lower limit. Multiplying this out, we get minus 20 milli times t. Then 20 milli times minus 1 micro is minus 20 nano, and then added to minus 10 nano gives us minus 30 nano. Again, it's a ramp equation of a straight line. And then the value when t is equal to 2 microseconds makes this 40 nano minus 30 nano or 10 nano coulombs. So our ramp will get us to this value and then we'll be continuous as we pass through 2 microseconds. If you look above, at 3 microseconds the value of the current is equal to minus 10 milli. Integrate that dx, pull out the minus 10 in front, the integral of 1 dx, evaluate the upper limit minus the lower limit plus the initial condition. Multiplying this out we get minus 10 milli times t. The two minus signs cancel here we get 20 times 10 to the minus 9, but a plus, and then a plus 10 nano. We get 30 nano added to minus 10 milli times t. It's the equation of a straight line, and the value when we get to 3 microseconds will be equal to a minus 30 nano plus 30 nano is equal to 0. Between 3 microseconds and 4 microseconds, if you look at the previous page, the value of the current is now just 10 milliamps. And our initial condition is equal to 0. Pull out the 10 milli. Integral of 1 dx is just x, evaluate the upper limit minus the lower limit. Multiplying through, we get 10 milli times t, minus 30, 10 to the minus 3, 10 to the minus 6, they get 10 to the minus 9th. The value at 4 microseconds would be 40 nanocoulombs minus 30, so again, 10 nanocoulombs is the result. And then lastly, for t greater than 4 microseconds, the value of the current was 0, but we do have an initial condition. So our value then is just a constant 10 nanocoulombs. Let's graph this. Here's our original plot from minus 10 milli to plus 20 milli to minus 10 milli to plus 10 milli then to zero. Our first result was equal to minus 10 milli times t, which is a straight line. At t equal to zero, we have a value of zero. And then when t is equal to one microsecond, we had a value of minus 10 nanocoulombs. The next result was 20 milli times t minus 30 nanocoulombs. Equation of a straight line, but this was equal to 10 nanocoulombs at two microseconds. The next interval was minus 10 milli times t plus 30 nano. Slope here now is negative, and the value at 3 microseconds was equal to 0. And then we found our next result, which had a value of 10 nanocoulombs at 4 microseconds, and then just stayed constant. This is supplemental problem 2.2.